You're watching Star Watch Media. I'm Callie Bundy, and we're here at the 20th anniversary of the Hamptons International Film Festival. Yeah. I know another John McGar, but you don't look alike. No way, you do? Uh huh. It's not a common name, you know yeah. that, right? Yeah. Really? Yes. I think you would like him. Oh my God, I want to meet him now. Maybe you could be Facebook friends. Well, there are, there are actually, in my family, there's like 10 John Magueros because, you know, Italians, we all name each other. We're all the same name. It's either John, Joe, or Jim in my family. So there's like three <laughs> John Magueros in my family. It might be my cousin you're talking about. It could be. That'd be wild. It would right. be. <laughs> but let's talk about tonight a little right. bit. Um, talk to me about the film Not Fade Away. Um, Not Fade Away is a beautiful coming-of-age story set in the 60s. Um, it's not autobiographical on David's life, but it des definitely takes elements uh, of his childhood and, and puts it into this story. But, it, you know, it focuses on this kid, Doug Damiano, who is uh, kind of searching for an identity in a changing world, and he finds that through rock and roll music. And he, he forms a band with his friends, and they're trying to make it, and they're going through all the struggles of trying to make it as a rock and roll band. And they're also growing up, trying to become men in the process. Right. So that, that's kind of the story that we're telling. Sure. What, now, what's your connection with music? Do you have one? Before um, well, I love music. Okay. <laughs> and I love 60s music especially. Oh, cool. You know, I grew up listening to it, you know, driving around in my dad's car and listening to oldies all the right. time. And, and the, you know, the Kinks, the Stones, the Beatles, the Rascals, Yardbirds, these are some of my favorite bands. So getting to live in that world has been amazing. Right. Um, you know, I wasn't a musician when I came into this. I just had an appreciation for music. But uh, Stephen Van Zant, who was our producer and music director on this, he put us through a boot camp and he uh, whipped us into musicians. And now we can play as a band, and it's pretty impressive, I think. So, yeah, it yeah. is pretty impressive. How was it on set? It was unbelievable. I mean, it's a great group of people. And, you know, The Sopranos deals with a family, and I think David really he focuses on that familial element and we became a family in the process we still have dinners together and, and still see each other all the time which has been wonderful and I, I think that comes out in the story we're telling that that camaraderie right yeah so what do you think the audience is going to come away feeling tonight um hopefully good <laughs> um but who knows uh I mean, uh, what I feel, I feel this movie is kind of flipping through a, an old photo, photo album or a scrapbook, maybe from the 60s, or you know, like your parents, or, or, or your own, or whatever it is. But it's, it's looking through these old pictures and, and these memories that you had, and, uh, and just seeing them again from a different perspective and realizing how much you grew in those years. So uh, I think people will see it as that, and also walk away hearing some amazing music as well, yeah which the music industry could use right now. No, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks, All right. John. See ya.